Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this beautiful evening of, of connecting, of rest, of, of inviting us to, uh, to use our imagination in all of the ways, beginning with um, creating intimacy across time and space. So coming from that beautiful performance. Um, so for those of you who asked, uh, the name of the piece is called Crying. It's from Alvin Ailey. And what we're gonna do right now is transition from that piece and let us um, begin with some breaths before we call in the ancestors. So I'm gonna invite you to soften your gaze or open or close your eyes, whatever feels safe and accessible to you in this moment. Landing, settling more deeply into, into your chair or wherever you've chosen to sit. Maybe you're joining us from the comfort of your bed or, or laying across your sofa. So with each breath, I want you to sink a little bit more deeply wherever you've decided to be with us today. And whatever part of you is closest to the earth, so if you're sitting and your feet are on the floor, I'm gonna invite you to spread your toes, each part of your foot making contact with the earth. Feeling the perfect support, the infinite abundance that Mama Earth has to offer us. Creating distance between your ears and your shoulders, lengthening your neck and beginning to bring our breath into the parts of our body that need to experience our softness. The need to feel our own vitality, to smooth it out. Beginning with the crown of our head, bringing our breath there, loosening up any tension that you might feel. Down your forehead, your cheeks, your jaw, maybe opening your mouth slightly just to give your jaw some space. We hold so much tension there. We're gonna breath down our neck and down our shoulders. Squeezing our hands into fists with the next inhale and exhaling just wiggling out any tension you might be holding in your chest in, this, in your hands in this moment. Breath now going into our heart, into the corresponding part of our back. Softening any tension that you might be holding in that part of your body. Now, I want you to imagine this breath going down into um, our diaphragm, our belly, another part of our body that sometimes holds that tension and softening it. Down the corresponding part of our back, in our hips, our breath swirling in our hips, down our thighs, knees, calves, shins, and imagine exhaling through the soles of our feet. Any of that heaviness that you're carrying from your day. And as maybe we've softened the sharp edges of our body. Now I want us to imagine connecting across time and space. So some of us live in climates that are, that the earth is frozen right now, but I want you to imagine that we're setting roots through the soles of our feet, reaching towards each other. 
Now we may not know who each other is, but I just want you to imagine that you're connecting the beautiful community. There are 59 people here who said yes to being with each other. So I imagine that we're connecting through our roots. And if we're coming resourced, we're pouring that sweetness into the cup of someone here on this call who might feel depleted. And if you're feeling depleted, experiencing receiving with grace, the sweetness and the connection, the same way that our kin in nature do, the trees and the bushes and the flowers, they all, when someone needs, they share through their roots. So let us do that with each other. Now, as we're connected through our roots and through our hearts across time and space, I want us to dedicate the next breath to uh, the lands that we're on, the lands uh, that we're visitors on. And take it a moment to say thank you for all of the things that this land provides. To the original stewards, to all of the kin that share, to all of the ways that we're nourished. And may we walk in a way that is in right relationship and in reciprocity. And as we're connected in this way, in, in sweet and deep relationship, I'm gonna offer, offer water and offer libations to our ancestors. So into this bowl, we're gonna, we're gonna offer some sweet water. And when, and I'm gonna invite you to, um, to say the names of those that we wanna to remember today. And those of you who are joining us, I want you to bring your people into the room. So bring your ancestors, those who you're descended from by blood, but also those chosen ones. Those who have been our teachers, those who, uh, who taught us, who loved us into who we are, inspired us. So I invite the beloveds here on the screen to, to, call, to call in your people. Mm -hmm. Call in Queen Nanny of the Maroons. Mm -hmm. she. I call in my grandmother, Christiana Placid, my paternal grandparents, Cynthia and George. She. She. Mm -hmm. And my papa, Rafael Morales, and I call in uh, my great grandfather, Catalino, um, great grandmother, uh, Maria, grandmother Ramona, and grandfather Carmelo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I call in uh, the creative genius of all of those that survive so that we can exist. The ones who make beauty, mm -hmm. the ones who, um, who made the maps, the ones who sang the songs um, that, that gave the messages that, that created the conditions for, for freedom. For the artists, for the beauty makers. Mm -hmm. Kadra G. Woodson. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rosa Parks, 
Lisa Dixon, <clears throat> Fanny Lou Hamer, a shed to Ida B. Wells, Audrey Lord and Tony Morris and Ashe. To Ada Bocalandro, Ashe with Colin on Aino from Astrid Jarvis, Ashe. Mm -hmm. Yes, we call in bell hooks. Ashe. Mm. I call in our revered teacher, Thich Nhat Hanh. I call in our ancestor, Maya Angelou. Ashe. Yes. I call in Linda Campbell, Wilbert Campbell, Lorraine Griffiths. Mm -hmm. to see Pamela's father Lewis and Mother Singh and Kariamu Welsh, Shane, Marshall Lewis, Hilda Hardy, Malvina, the Badu. And Harriet Benoit, Ashe. Ashe. Mm -hmm. I call the ancestors of the land. I call in um, the plant sisters who will come into our lives to, to heal us, to nourish us. I call in the benevolent beings from the realms and the existences. To the collective genius um, that allowed us to exist, that allowed us to survive. I call in the ancestors who loved us into who we are. Um, I call in the writers, the storytellers, the griots, those who, who sculpted, those who wrote the songs, those who um, who drummed the rhythms that still live in our bodies that help us remember ourselves back home. And to those whose, whose names we do not know, may they show up in our, in our dreams, in the winds, in the waters, in the sun, in the hummingbirds, the butterflies, the ladybugs. Maybe, may they show up in a way that we can recognize so we could pay attention to their teachings. We thank them for their protection. We thank them for their love. We thank them for their guidance. Say thank you, ancestors, for all of the ways that you have created the, the pathway and the conditions um, for us to be a little bit more free than you were. And let us continue to pay attention to the messages and to, and to walk into the medicine that we have inherited from you so that our descendants um, will experience more freedom, more opportunity, um, and more beauty. Ashe, ashe, ashe. And I offer these flower petals to all of them, to all of you. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Mm -hmm. And I pass it to Carlene, my sweet Ashe. sister. Ashe, oh, Ooh, that was so wonderful. Offering gratitude um, for this day and welcome to each and every one of you that said yes to the invitation, um, led by spirit and moved um, to join us this evening. This is a co-creative space um as we come together to be intentional about our healing about our wholeness affirming it taking hold of it making it our birthright knowing that we are worthy of it and uh, you know, we are calling this, um, the next few segments, 
the art of healing, collective imagination, the art of healing. And what that signifies, among other things, is that healing is a collective process. I'm here burning um, white sage. And I think I'm holding it correctly. So. But that healing is a collective process. But as individuals, we, we deserve healing in the world that we exist in. We enter it into conditions not of our own making and not of our own choosing often. We enter into legacies of violence, of disregard, of exclusion, of diminishment and dehumanization. We also enter into legacies of beauty, legacies of creativity, legacies of wild and effusive and abundant imagination, legacies of multiplicity that comes in all shapes, all colors, all sizes, that comes with a plethora of gifts in every sphere, in every dimension, from before the foundations of the earth to the stars beyond and back. Each and every one of us inhabits that. And so I'm reminded by Audre Lord, who said, if I don't, if I didn't define myself for myself, I would be crunched into other people's fantasies of me and eaten alive. A part of this space is self-definition, right? We are not, um, oblivious to the conditions that we are living in, in pandemic, in loss, in grief, in generational harm, personal struggles, loss and death. Are, and, and, and that means from the, the, the transitioning and the physical form of loved ones and friends and members of our community, but it also means our comforts, our ways of being in social settings, getting up and going out to meet with friends, going to a movie in a movie theater without the thought of wearing a mask, traveling, or whatever those those things are, perhaps um, going to a workspace, although many don't seem to miss that quotidian cultural thing, <laughs> right? Because we, we have a mass exodus of folks who are really grounding and recognizing what is most important in this life. So what are we doing here? We are lifting up the ways in which our creative genius, right? Um, and I don't wanna make this one thing because it's multiple from the ways in which we prepared our foods when we were given leftovers to the ways in which we planted and tended our gardens, the ways in which we fashioned and adorn ourselves, the ways in which we carved out space to be fully human and to seize and claim and affirm and assert the dignity that was given, that can never be stolen, that can never be taken away. From the music that we made to the dances, that we created, our very body is a work of art. 
and our tendency, our tend, we want to tend to it. And our tendency to thrive and flourish is a divine impulse. It is God given by the creator, by the one who is all love, by the one who is justice, by the one who is more than enough, by the one who is abundance, by the one who is unity, by the one who is joy. Yes, she did. Yes, they did. Yes, he did. See us. And ever calling us to this place of fullness, of wholeness, of connectedness. Not striving and struggling for just enough just survival, but for abundance of acceptance and affirmation in the beauty of your features, in the beauty of your soul, in the beauty of who you are, to call forth your gifts and the purpose, the contribution, but the contribution in the fullness of just being. We are called just to be, and in being we deserve celebration, not in production, but in being, because in being we offer effortlessly the gifts and the purpose of why we came. And we bring with us the stories of how we came. And our ancestors have bequeathed to us marking struggle in song was it mahalia jackson that said well how i got over we tell the stories and we pass them down we bequeath them to our young to carry on this lineage of strength and dignity of power and of hope And so this month, we turn to this very lineage, right? It is called Black History Month. Yet we know that Black history has always been, since the beginning was a beginning. I say this all the time. But we underscore our contributions, who we are as a people, and celebrate and honor and lift up and walk in that lineage. As we look to Black futures, right? And the brilliance and genius and hopes of our collective imagination, the individual genius is a part of a collective. The collective genius is to uphold and strengthen and fortify us as individuals. And so the, in this series, the art of healing will lift up the ways in which the creative impulse of our being, of our people, has sustained us has given us reprieve, have given us spaces to connect, be that through the, 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 the spirituals or the blues or, or jazz or hip hop, right? Be that through the dance, through whatever the artistic modalities, visual arts, poetry, through the literature of Maya Angelou, the poetry of Amiri Baraka and Sonia Sanchez, and call to mind those artists in your community, perhaps those in your very home, perhaps you, perhaps you sing to yourself, 
perhaps you paint your portal into healing. Perhaps you fashion yourself in a way that uplifts your head and holds and affirms your own dignity. Perhaps it was your mama and your, or your cousin and auntie and them. Perhaps it's the music of Bob Marley and the, and the stories of Miss Louise Bennett. What are we talking about? Yes, we're still talking about healing justice. Yes, we're talking about wholeness. We're talking about healing. We're talking about us. And yes, some of these that we face are intractable. But I want us to know that we have everything that we need and everything that it takes to move through in grace, in love. and kindness and to hold one another up in the light. In the light. Ashe. Ashe. So some of the, the, the questions, right, as I pivot, that we're we're pondering. Um, in this space is um, what are some of the practices that you engaging that brings healing, that calls in spirit, that nourishes your soul? What are some of those sacred creative practices? We will underscore some and center some, but we want you to talk to us engage in this process of healing <clears throat> and offering resources to one another. How do we move through grief collectively? What are some, what have been some of the healing ways of, of processing grief? <clears throat> of acknowledging grief and releasing grief and loss? How do you open portals into a brighter tomorrow, into our future? Affirmation, affirmation mirrors, says Chris. Speaking my truth. <clears throat> Mindful morning walks, yes. Yes, I for one love music. Music is one way. Ah, yes, aromatherapy and baths. Thank you, Monica, for that. Thank you all. These are beautiful. Acknowledging the pain. Absolutely. Meditation and yoga. Dancing and doing Qigong. That's it. Community vigils. A street said sitting by the window. Oh, I love that, Ebony. Putting my feet in grass. <laughs> that reminds me of the ocean for some reason, because you connected it to nature. I love the ocean and being in the water. It is so healing to be in the ocean.
Thank you, Jeff. Meditation was key in helping you to process your wife's passing. Thank you for offering that. The African drumming, daily yoga and meditation, walking in the woods and communing with the trees. Yes, Melissa. Thank you, Marilyn, for lifting up groups, small grief groups. And, and, and for me, it's the trees as well. Prayer, walks in music, falling in love after losing my father. Yes, yes. These are so beautiful. These are so holy. Your offerings are holy. Know that every need that you have for wholeness, for liberty, to be fully seen, embraced, and loved, to have everything you need, and more, to be generous. These are all holy and sacred. Thank you all so much. Yes, they are holy. I love that, Melissa. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. Beautiful. Well, I think I will stop there. Um, I want us to continue to engage one another. And um, we are moving to um, one of my next uh, co-healers here. I'm not sure which, but I'm going to be quiet. Melissa, is that you? I guess it will be now. <laughs> We're swapping. I think that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful, Carlene. Thank you. Thank you, Luana. Thank you, everybody, for your contributions and just feeling how swathed we are in all of the beautiful practices that you all are offering for us to take up as, as suggestions, as mirrors, as offerings for us on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And so with this whole idea that is a lived idea for many of us of the arts of healing, how he, in, in innately intrinsically healing and therapeutic the arts are. And for many of us, we know that through different forms of expression, whether it's dance or music, you all mentioned many of them, any visual artists in the house or I'm seeing drama therapy and theater. Yes, thank you, Carlene, exactly. Um, definitely photography, those of us who love nature, I love doing nature photography. Um, any painters here, you know? So all, all of the expressions that we can tap into, yes, come through visual artists, cartoons <laughs> and visual art and paint, music therapy, dance. Yes, come through. The arts are innately therapeutic. And that's one of the things that I have always believed and hooked into from a very early age. Dance has been my mode of expression for a very long time. Um, and dance to me is a companion for music. Dance and music, dances like make it in a lot of ways, especially in, in West African traditions, it's, it's a way of making the music visible and palpable in our spirit. And so, I'm going to marry a little bit of uh, some yogic breathing. And, you know, I love cry for many, many reasons. The opening piece that is performed, as many of you immediately recognize Donna Wood, 
that was so beautiful, originally performed by Judith Jameson. And I love also the music, which I, when I saw Cry many years ago, did not know the history of Alice Coltrane until I started really studying yoga and realizing how a much of an amazing leader in yoga Alice Coltrane was. And so you hear the music and it's a beautiful synergy of the heart music and also Indian music traditions. Um, and so I just want to make that connection to, to the yogic tradition as we go into a bit of breathing and then a bit of movement. I want to invite you in whatever ways feel good and holy to your own body, mind, and spirit. As Carleen said, we are in a space of being sovereign. So you are the sovereign authority of your own mind, body, spirit. Whatever I suggest is just that. It's a suggestion and offering you decide how you'd like to or if you'd like to take that up. So I invite you to place your feet on the earth rounding into your seat and inviting us into this place that I'm sure Luana will talk more about. The Luana brought forward the spirit of the hummingbird, which is also the, the national bird for many of our Caribbean countries, definitely for Trinidad, and I think Carlene said for Jamaica as well. And many of us have these relationships to hummingbird. And my relationship to hummingbird is an active one. Uh, those of us who talked about trees, we may also love the connection with our animal beings and what they have to teach us. Hummingbird definitely has to teach us about the flexibility of being where we are, understanding that at the same time that we're in this moment, we're also reaching back to the past and reaching forward all at the same time and that we can have that hovering perspective. And so Hummingbird teaches me so much also about being light and playful. And I, I just am so enjoying the, the Hummingbird uh, feeling that we're gonna come into a breath that reminds me of Hummingbird. It's a breath that is also used to dispel anxiety and fear and can dispel you know, heavy feeling. So as we bring our feet onto the earth, we're coming into humming bee breath. I invite you again to use your hands in whatever way feels okay. Uh, so if, and to either keep the eyes closed or eyes open, your choice. So as you bring the feet to the earth, you can use the hands. I'll demonstrate and then we'll go into the rounds. You'll use the fingers, you can use the thumbs to gently press into the cartilage of the ear to seal off the hearing. So you'll be sealing off hearing and you can turn the hands to seal off eyes if that feels okay for you. Or you may just close the eyes or keep a soft gaze. Take the tip of the tongue and bring it to the roof of the mouth. So you're just gently holding it there. And as you breathe in, take a nice deep breath and sealing off the vision, sealing off the hearing, you'll gently on the exhale, hum the whole length of the exhalation. I will demonstrate, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, humming. Mm -hmm. So we'll do five rounds of that breath, the humming bee breath, taking you to that place of the vibration. Take a deep breath in. Seal off the ears, seal the eyes, exhale and begin. Mm. Mm.
feel free to take your time. Once you're done with your rounds, bring the hands back to thighs, palms facing up, sealing the eyes or taking a soft gaze and just notice the reverberation of the vibration in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. Just notice if anything has released or shifted for you. Mm. Mm. Feel free to open the eyes, take your time. And feel free to share if anything has shifted or what, what happened for you as you came into that vibration of sound. Feel free to share in the chat. That is called Brahmari breath or humming bee breath. That is something that you can repeat and use for yourself on a day to day basis. So we'll move to even more movement. Mm. Thank you, Chiquita. That vibration helped me come, in, come into my whole body. My head feels clear. Thank you, Ebony. Mm-hmm. One of my favorites too, Luana. Thank you. Powerful. John, thank you. Very connecting. Thank you. My neck feels relaxed. Thank you, Astrid. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's one of my favorites too. A beautiful breath that invites us to use our voice. Thank you, Brenda. Blessings. It's, it invites us to use our voice. I'll invite us even more into our voices and into more of our bodies. I love that and invited you to come into your body even more deeply. So in that beautiful way that Luana invited us to connect with each other, I'm going to invite us to feel that connection, revive that, feel it even more and to come into some sound that connects us. And so this is like a communal rhythm. So it can be whatever, whatever you want. And for us on the screen, we're, we'll tune into each other, but across space and time, we can just tune in and sort of feel each other and at the same time be in, in resonance with our own vibration, you know, what is happening in our rhythm. So for right now, my heel is going, I know you can't see it, my body's starting to move. I'll invite those who are on the screen with me, feel free to unmute yourself, come into some communal rhythm and vibration. I feel a little call and response happening. Right. <laughs> and, and those of us who know Zoom, Zoom is not the easiest to feel, to hear rhythm. There's a little delay, but it's, it's playful. We're coming into that hummingbird spirit of lightness and playfulness. And we play with rhythm. We play with our connection with sound. Mm. I love that. It helps us laugh. And <laughs> Of course, and call and response had to show up, right? Of course, of course, <laughs> that is our way. Yes, thank you all. And so as we come into that, I want to invite us to come into a couple, just I'm going to just share some prompts that I'm going to invite you into your body in whatever expression, whatever way comes to you. You might decide to, you know, not look at us, that way you can come to your own authentic expression. So I might do a movement, that's my movement, but I'm inviting you to push back from your computer, find some space 
and come to your own movement. And I'll share the context of this after and we'll, and then we'll just come into kind of like a, a jam, you know? But for right now, the first word is expand. Find movement that is expansive in your body. So just take a moment, feel into what that means for you and let the body guide you. And maybe it's your breath too. And maybe it's a sound that goes with it. Ah, nice. Thank you, Marilyn. Marilyn says she's left everything behind and I'm totally in the moment. Mm -hmm. So being in this moment of expansion, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. <sighs> expand through the body, expand through the breath. Take a few more moments, explore that for yourself. There's no right or wrong. So the critical you know, <laughs> mind might tell you <laughs> something about what you're doing. Just ah, be like in Marilyn's terms, leave everything behind, be totally in the moment. I yeah. wish I could see everybody. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Uh, now in our way of being connected and in expansion, start to circle. We're in cir circular movement, both in our bodies, but also in space. So imagine that the circles are connecting. So however that comes to you. Circular, expansive movement. Let your breath flow. So you're breathing in and breathing out generously. Releasing, maybe letting the mouth slightly turn upward, the jaw relax and release. And if you're using one part of your body primarily, maybe there's another part of your body that you want to use. So feel free to try something else, extend. And coming into a movement now of clearing and cleansing, whatever that means to you, clear, and cleanse, clear and cleanse. The front of the body, the back of the body, the field around the body, so we have an auric field that reaches around the body. And after we've cleared and cleansed and we're together, we can come to whatever our edges. So whatever movement in the body shows you, feels, inspires this feeling of coming to the edge. This is the place of maybe jumping over the chasm. Come to the edge. Maybe it's a place that we come to again and again. Place of coming to the edge. Open the eyes and sharpen the gaze and look. So really confronting where we are standing. Fully in the body, fully in presence with yourself.
And in this moment without thought, the next prompt is just go. Whatever this means to you, just go. Ready? <laughs> Find it in the body and just go. It's like the hummingbird just takes off. Go, whatever it is. <laughs> go. <laughs> Find it. My, my go has went, but. <laughs> 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 oh, this is so beautiful so where can we come to this class every week right <laughs> <laughs> and in this moment where we feel as Carlene said, we, we already went we're there so we take already a uh huh. So take a moment and feel where where that is. Align the head, the heart, and to the earth. In the Yoruba concept, our earth is where the ancestors are. So we are reaching and connecting with the earth, aligning from the crown of head, from this place of vision, aligning with our heart, aligning what comes out of our mouths aligning the root of our body that makes connection with the earth and feeling in that wholeness, feeling in that aligned wholeness. So you may touch any part of, you know, maybe there are gestures for you of alignment. For me, it's this. Touch into that gesture of alignment for yourself. Feel your breath in its fullness. The breath is maybe that much more expansive as we come into awareness of our wholeness. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and releasing the energy into the earth. Breathe in, gathering the energy from the earth to your heart. Exhale, cycling the energy back to the earth in gratitude. And as you feel ready, open the eyes. Mm. And I just want to say a little bit before I, I maybe attempt to put on a song. This was came out of a piece that I did that I choreographed many, many years ago that I entitled The End of Fear. It was to a piece of music by Gilberto Gil. Uh, and it was about, it was an anniversary album on the 300th anniversary of the life of Zumbi, Zumbi, or also known as Zumbi uh, de, de los Palmares. And Zumbi, Zumbi, I keep on saying it now, I'm like Spanish and uh, Portuguese getting all jumbled. Um, Zumbi was known as a warrior, as a leader, in the Colombo, a free community of, as, as Carlene called it, the Maroons, the Maroons in Brazil. And there's so much that Zumbi's presence taught me then, and so much about standing at the edge of the chasm as Zumbi was born. The story, there are many stories about when Zumbi was taken from his original birthplace, he was born free, but then taken to the priests and, and attempted to be colonized and he escaped and went back and went back to his leadership in his community. And there's so much in all of that, in all of those, the stories that are the echo in Brazil, the echo in Haiti, the echo in Jamaica, the echo in Trinidad that are about 
jumping, you know, that go, that, that spirit of just being able to look at and confront the moment that we are standing in and go. That, mm -hmm. that moment that is about, you know, really tapping into our hidden potential and power and using, you know, even when we don't know where it's coming from, being able to tap into that and have a, a spirit of trust in, in, in the community that we are not alone, you know, such a blessing to be here together and to know we are not alone. And that when we confront and when we go, and when we go, we go to joy. You know, we feel that we, when we go, we go to joy. When we confront that chasm, we're, that's where we're going. So that, that is the, the lesson that I learned and felt through this choreographing of this piece of Zumbi, um, this piece of music that's called Meteorum, which I looked up the meaning of that word and it's about rising. It's about lifting up and lifting each other up. That's what we're doing in these moments. Ashe. Ashe. So if we're able, I could put on that sound for just a minute or two. If I'm able to share, I'm going to check it out and see if it's possible. And I'm just going to share the sound, so not the screen. So you can hear the spirit of this music. Letting the body move or just being in that grounded aligned space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was so good. How long is that song, Melissa? I think it's about six minutes. Okay. There was something really delicious about what started happening there. And I think if it's possible, if we can, um, so for our next practice, because we are here being emergent out here in these streets and <laughs> there is this, you know, part of this experience is, um, is being here together like we spoke about earlier across time and space. So we're out here time traveling, connecting deeply with each other. Um, and in the same ways that we are um, inviting you all and inviting ourselves 
to unburden, to release the sharp edges, to um, take our burdens and our heaviness and offer it to the earth or put it to the side or hum it out, um, to call in our ancestors to help lift the burden that we are calling in the genius of creativity um, and all of the ways that creativity expresses itself in our lives. And, um, and we want, you know, right, so these experiences that we've been um, holding these last few months is about uh, installing these memories in our body, installing this healing into our bodies, uh, bringing in rhythms of breath, uh, of giggles when we're doing things that feel kind of weird, um, of like joy when someone says something in the chat that feels so resonant where you, you know, where we're, we're just like reflecting, right? Um, so it is a Friday, it is a long week, it is, uh, you know, we're still having these experiences and part of what we have inherited from our ancestors, it is like, we are going to experience joy. We're going like, no matter, like in the middle of all of it, we're going to experience joy and we're going to remember. And for this moment, we're going to create the conditions of freedom. And, 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 and when we feel free and joyful and relaxed and safe, we have access to our creativity. We have access to, um, it's like it activates all of the hormones. It, it, it activates all of the parts of our body systems that like give us health and vitality and remind us. So, you know, so hopefully in the time that we've spent together today, we're installing, um, you know, beginning with clearing, right? So it's like when we bathe, we, you know, we get in the water and, and you know, and we're exfoliating and we're washing. But then after we do all of that and we make the offerings to the water, right? We moisturize, mm -hmm. right? So we're, 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 we're going to head into, like, we're going to oil ourselves up version, you know, part portion of the of the evening today. And I'm gonna lead you all through some self-massage. So before we start the music, I'm gonna model. And, and this is one of those practices that I do often and that I share often because we are out here in front of these computers all day. Our bodies are tired. And, and this is something that we can do when we get off camera or just any time during the day when we need it. So we're gonna take with, with our fingers, we're gonna um, meet them in the middle of our forehead and we're gonna apply even pressure with the, just like the soft parts of our fingers, the pads of our fingers, and we're gonna go along our hairline, right? So we're gonna pause here in our temples and we're gonna breathe. So imagine what is the right rhythm of breath, you know, just trust your body's wisdom. And then we're gonna continue, we're gonna go behind our ears, and we're gonna, as we're continuing to breathe at a rhythm that feels good and let pleasure lead you, we're gonna pause here in our jaw. And just release a little bit of what we hold there. The next inhale, we're gonna continue following our hairline. And our fingers are gonna meet at the nape of our neck. And in that indentation is our still point. And imagine that it is our reset button. And you know you hit it because there is something that just relaxes in you. So we're gonna breathe there as we apply pressure. And then we're gonna continue going down our spine, down our neck. And if it's accessible to you, right? Um, we have different levels of flexibility. So you trust your body's wisdom. So we're gonna stop at the top of our shoulders and then just pull forward. Breathing. And you might feel just kind of like the little, little tickles of just like the release of the tension in that muscle. So for the duration of the song, you know, you could follow that, you know, that, that pattern, pressure and release. Or you could use this time to maybe massage your hands, you know, our hands that do all of this typing, that do all of this, right? Or sometimes maybe we just want to um, put our hand on our heart and the other be, you know, below our belly button and let yourself be led by the music, right? So we, Melissa invited us so beautifully, you know, to move our bodies in ways that, that feel good, 
I want you to just rewind in your mind all of the the anointing that Carlene just blessed us with earlier on. So let this be a moment of installation, memories in our bones from this collective experience. So if you mind, yeah, right, right in that little juicy part where we were at. <laughs> Yes, feel like water. Mm -hmm. Is the music, is it supposed to be playing because we can't hear it? We're still in Mercury shadow period, y'all. <laughs> mm -mm. your grace. The next few minutes. Thank you. For the next few minutes, I'm going to invite you to get into the rhythm of the practice that feels good to you.
Thank you. <laughs> that was so Thank good. You. Oh, that was so Thank yummy. You. <laughs> mm. Thank you. That felt yummy. Mm. Yes. All so lay the here. Mm. Lay it down on us, Carly, and I feel it bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> It just has all my senses titillating because I was over here burning um, white sage. So I'm mm. smelling the sage and, nice. and the music and the rhythm. This is what I love about um, the art. It just invites all of the, the senses. It's so multi-sensorial and, and mm -hmm. it invites fullness and wholeness. Um, oh, so yes, I feel, I feel just rejuvenated and revived the energy is flowing in, 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 in a different way wow this is beautiful it's 8 24 and i'm not ready to go it feels <laughs> like we just getting started <laughs> oh beloved I, I wish i could see you all and um know how how you are doing tell us how you're feeling mm -hmm. um how you have experienced this time with us if you haven't already we welcome um you letting us know what you need what you need from us what you want more of yes um god willing and the creek don't rise we will be here <laughs> um march 4th and um red and morgan i see you out there it is so wonderful to have you um and all the all the beloveds michelle some i know some i don't know but look forward to um our space and time together we will continue on the theme of the healing arts um we are well aware that we have experienced um and continue to experience um, losses and 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 difficulty, tough spaces, you know. And I just want to implore you, invite you to connect to, to these places of, of of joy and breath and self massage and lightness and going you know, swiftly going, um, whatever that means for you in a way that is liberatory and liberative, write it, speak it, say it. Someone said they found a place for their voice when we were humming mm. together. Yes, I say and amen to more of that. Um, uh, what do I, yeah, so our next session is March 4th, and um, we will also invite other creatives um, to be with us, and we look forward to having Day and Estella back with us, if they say the same and circumstances allow. Um, yeah, anything else, beloved? Um, folks are asking in the chat, yes, this session is being recorded. Um, yes, you'll have access to these practices. Yes. They, mm -hmm. And they are typically posted on our website after a few days. So likely sometime this week, you will have um, access to, to this wonderful mm -hmm. space. And we did put together, it's a working document of resources that we're sharing. It's a document in, in progress and in process. Um, yeah, and feel free that if you have local resources or even need us to, um, you know, offer or help you find some resources in your area or near you, um, remote, um, likely for this time and season that we're in, um, we will do our best. But that's the goal. We want to offer you resources and tangible ways to care for yourself. Also, you should know that we prioritize mental health um, 
And this is all connected. These aren't discrete areas, but broadly speaking, um, we've gotten a lot of um, requests for um, information and session on, on mental health and well-being. This is a part of that, as well as mm -hmm. other ways of considering and conceptualizing mental health. We just want to love on you. We just want you to know that you are infinite possibility. You are. And um, thank you for sharing this time and space with us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ashe. Ashe. Hey. And so to um, to um, punctuate our time together, I don't want to say close us out because we we will continue in a circular way in energy and spirit. Well, we will be with one another in the best intentions and the highest um, good um, and love and care um, for you. Um, we will uh, feast on um, Rock of My Soul by uh, Alvin Bailey from Revelation. That was just, that has been in my spirit like for months. Mm -hmm. So it resurfaced today. And so we will offer that as we close out. Good night, blessings and peace and honor and goodness and grace, all the grace that you need for every mm -hmm. moment and every mm -hmm. face. Ashe. Ashe. Ashe.